Hello everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. The update that we didn't want to bring you, the dreadful news, the, the news that we dreaded really has came out on Sandro Tonali. Another day, another update on the Italian midfielder and this one now is awful. It is dreadful, it is lifting, it is exactly what we did not want to hear. Oh my dears, this stinks, this is crap. Honestly, it's really, really crap. I'm going to get into rant mode in a minute because I kind of, I kind of comprehend that AC Milan didn't know what they were doing, and we don't know. Hopefully, it'll come out the truth if they did know or not about Tonali's ongoing betting allegations, and they knew that he was going to be suspended for a lengthy period of time. Surely they did. Sure, they've got to. They've got to have known. That's why they sold him. That's what I'm saying. But we'll get into all that in a minute. And um, what we will do is run through the facts that we know so far. And I said last week and I said yesterday, I didn't want to talk about it too much until we had some concrete news on it. And now Sky Sports are reporting the following. They are reporting that Tonali has admitted betting on his own team. He did bet on AC Milan while he was there at the San Siro on games he was involved in. So when he was playing, he put bets on those matches. That is crap as well that's just bad crack bad crack Sandro what are you playing at now I know they've came out and said he's got a gambling addiction and stuff but mate get yourself down to the casino instead bet bet on Premier League games when you're sitting in Italy don't bet on your own team that's the worst thing you can do when you're playing as well you're playing and you're betting on your own team oh my days I can't believe it I can't believe he's done that you know honestly he says he's never bet on a game for them to lose but he did bet on them just a win is what what Sandro has admitted, and that is uh, terrible, man. Like I can't believe he's done that. <sighs> you were hoping when it was announced that he had these betting problems, and this is why I didn't do so many videos on this because loads of reporters saying, "Oh, it was just blackjack. It was just poker. It was illegal gambling websites that he was betting on." Now to do with football, and then it came out like, "Oh, it was football, but it was ages ago, or oh, he wasn't playing, or it may be in the Premier League, or foreign teams." Ah, uh, he's admitted now. To Italian prosecutors yesterday when he was back in Italy that he has bet on his own side, AC Milan, when he has been wearing their shirt. And that is a terrible thing to do. That's that's really obviously frowned upon. I mean, football has betting in general. They're against it. They're not meant to do it. It's in the contracts, all this. And now you look at this Tonali thing, they're talking about it would normally be a three-year ban. Three years is what the ban would normally be. But he may be looking at about 12 months, one year, because he has admitted it and now he's confessed to it. And you were looking at a lengthy spell for Tonali, where he can't feature at all. Uh, they're saying it's going to be a ban of up to 12 months. We'll be able to find out what officially it is in the next couple of days. Apparently it's going to be announced by the end of the week. I tell you what, these Italian authorities, they didn't mess around, did they? That Ivan Tony ban was lingering for, for months and months, for ages this whole Tony thing was there. Speculation he was going to get banned for this long, that long. We knew of his, his allegations, the, the, the breaches that he'd done, we knew all about it. Tonali just came out of the blue, oh he may be getting banned. Within a few days he's there, he's, he's talking to prosecutors. And now, by the end of the week, we're going to find out what his sentence is. Sentence, a bit harsh, he's not going to prison, you know what I mean? But he's sentenced in terms of not being able to play football. Suspension, I guess, would be more appropriate. But for Tonali... The turnaround's unbelievable in the bad sense that, you know, Italian authorities are not messing around. Unlike the English, the FA just sitting there, you know, drinking coffee, smoking cigars all day. You want to ban Tony? You want to ban Tony? We'll take your time. No rush, is there? These Italians sitting there, barely finished the painting Moretti, and he's banned like that. I tell you what, Tonali's going to have too much time to drink Moretti now. Jesus Christ, that's all, you'll, that's all he will be doing. You'll be getting paid a nice wage to sit there, drink Moretti and eat spaghetti for the next year and not even have to play football surely something will happen where you're not getting paid the full amount obviously we want to support him the addiction's serious but surely you'll have a wage docked or something but to be fair yes Tonali is obviously the one to blame he is bang out of order doing that for Milan but Milan are bang out of order for selling him when they knew this that, it, listen it hasn't came out that, the, that they've known that this was going on but surely they must have knew man surely they must have knew now They've got to have had an inkling or, or even known fully that Sandro Tonali was betting. This has got to be going over the head. And this totally explains Sandro Tonali's tipsy-turvy start of the season. His up and down moments against Villa. You thought, wow, what a saying this is. What a player. Scores. He bosses it. And then we'll have these weeks of debates of 
Tonali can't play with Bruno. Bruno and Tonali, they can't play in midfield together. What's going on with Sandro Tonali? I'll tell you what's going on. He knew fine well up there that he was going to get absolutely fucked and the betting scandal was on the way and he was going to get banned and he was going to have this uproar. He knew that was happening and that showed the dip in form. But then he had them games like I thought PSG he was brilliant the other week in that win. And then he'll go missing again. It's because his head's not in it. And I can understand that completely. His head's not in it. Because he's having this weighing over his shoulders. This whole allegation and scandal. And he knew it was going to happen. And before you know it, he's dragged out of the Italian national side. He's in front of prosecutors. And they're going to sentence him up to a year ban. One year ban incoming for Sandro Tonali. It's, it's, it must have been known that this was on the horizon. It must have been there in the background. You know, like I said, the Tony thing was building up for ages. And then they just got to prove it. And they do this. But this has got to... Milan must have known, man. Because there was always that thing about... All the Milan fans were totally shocked, weren't they? The AC fans were like, we are never selling Sandro Tonali. He's our captain. He's our leader. You know, he's, he's one of our own. All of this. And then 55 million eyes away. We were meant to be getting Barella. And then we end up getting Tonali, his Italian midfield compatriot. You know what I mean? We end up getting him. At a, at a decent price for what we thought for his potential and everything. And then now, 55 million for a player who's been here a couple of months and now he's going to be out for a year. My God, man, that's so bad. So bad that, you know what I mean, one of our most expensive signings ever in your cash United football club's history and he gets a ban from what he's done at his previous club right at the start of signing for us. This shouldn't be allowed. Where's the receipts? We need the receipts. Where's the money back guarantee? At least a discount. I want a discount. If this was me, and I got this shirt very lately because it's a store, that there was a, an embroidery issue, two T's, everyone loves a whinge on that. Do you know what I mean? There was some sort of issue with this, this this top, or, you know, your PlayStation that you've just bought. You would take it back to the shop and go, mate, my PlayStation's not loading here, like, or, or it loads, but sometimes it crashes, something like that. Oh, mate, well, you know, it's past its warranty. We've had them for a few months, but I tell you what, 50% off. We need something. We've got to get discount on this because we're missing a full year of the bloke's playing career. Do you know what I mean? We're missing a full year. You've got to get money off this. Like I want, I want half of that fifty-five million back. We've there's got to be a massive legal claim and a massive legal battle ongoing with Newcastle and AC Milan because there's no way you can sell a player for fifty-five million and then like a month or two later get done. And we're the ones that are suffering from it. Milan are over there laughing their head off. Do you know what I mean? Laughing their head off, sitting there counting all the euros. Do you know what I mean? Having a good time. And we're over here thinking, bloody hell, we're missing one of our best players now. Or what you'd hope would be one of our best players. One of our most important players. Our new star. Do you know what I mean? Our new money, big money spending. And now they're sitting over there laughing, thinking we've got 55 million for him. He can't even play for a year. And he'll, he'll go back to Milan one day anyway. He said that he wants to go back. You know, he loves it there. Look, him crying at the San Siro and everything the other week. Last month for Newcastle. Oh, man, this is absolute disgrace. It's a robbery. Milan have absolutely robbed us. They have pulled our pants down. And laughed all the way at the bank. We have been absolutely done for. I am devastated. I can't believe it. And they can't get away from it. I'm telling you, we've got to get the legal battle on the go. We've got to get some money back, some compensation for this. A, f- a full fucking refund would be ideal. Where's the full receipt? How many days is it? Be 90 day money back yet? Guarantee? What's on this? I hope we've got insurance on Tonali. Eh? My God, man. We're getting absolutely bummed left, right, and south. An Italian bumming job. That's what the Italian job. That's what this is. Jesus Christ, we have been shafted strongly, yeah, like Big shaft. Because I'm telling you, and I hope it comes out, it's got to come out, there's no way that they didn't know, that they didn't have the slightest inkling that there was something going on behind the scenes about Sandro's betting problem, all the allegations that was coming up. They've got to have known, man. They've got to. So we have been robbed. I'm devastated. Tonali's going to be out for about a year. The silver line is that, thankfully, Joe Willick and Joe Linton and that are coming back. But my goodness, two of our biggest signings this summer, Harvey Barnes, he's injured until next year, he's got a long-term injury. And now Sandro Tonali is going to be out for a year for, for, for high and builder bets on himself in Milan. Do you know what I mean? My God, what are you doing, Sandro? What we're doing? I can't believe it. The club's obviously going to be devastated. Eddie Howe will be gutted. The owners will not be taking this lightly. They're surely going to push for something because it's not fair, it's not right. That's straight up from signing someone. You get done over like this. Me, hey, what a nightmare scenario this is. Absolute nightmare. I mean, I mentioned Barnes' long-term injury. The way Newcastle are going to be is it's like Sandro Tonali has just broke his leg. Do you know what I mean? He's going to be out for longer than what a leg break would be. Up to 12 months, missing him for a year. We've got all these Champions League games coming up. He was brought in for the Champions League experience. 
oh my days it's a shambles it's a, it's devastating you know like all these little jokes and things i've said aside it's it is gutting like and i'm good for for Tenali as well because he's coming into the newcastle say a new country new league you need that time to adapt to adjust to to grow to evolve in eddie howe's plans system tactics and now you're going to be missing for a year <sighs> It's not good for him, for his form, for his development, for us, for our goals, for our targets, for all the competitions that we're in. And now we're losing a star midfielder, you know, a key body in the middle of the park. Oh, it's gutting, like, what a nightmare scenario this is. I couldn't believe it. Like I said, it was the news that we all feared, thinking, if he does get banned, let's just hope it's a few months. But yeah, going to be it could be pinnacle to his career really do you know what I mean how's he going to come back what's he going to be like mentally physically without all this time actually competitive football it's going to it's because it's not just a year so if he gets banned so he got banned tomorrow that's it right just just it's now november so just say november 2023 to 2024 he's banned it's not like november 24 is going to come around and we're going to chuck him in the side and he's going to be ready to go if he hasn't been playing competitive football he's going to be done for it's going to take him at least four to six weeks to catch up. So he's really not going to be back until 2026. Because if he's back... 2025, sorry. If he's, so if he's banned for November 24, it's going to take him a couple of months to get up to speed. Before you know it, it'll be 2025. It'll be January. He would have seen two new years without kicking a ball, without doing his job. Oh, it's a mess. It's an utter mess. Could you? How could you write this? This is Newcastle, the case. I've talked about the case. We are cursed. The case continues. Signing a player, one of the best midfielders in the world. You know, we're, we're linked with him, we're buzzing, we're signing him, we're seeing him in his debut, he's amazing. We've seen glimpses, we're like, ah, oh, there's a player, yeah, I don't know already how. Yeah, he's still really young as well, he'll develop. We've got a star on our hands. No, we haven't got a buddy gamble on our hands. Do you know what I mean? We need to fix it though, so sort it out. All jokes aside, again, you know, I really hope Sandro, I've said it before, gets, gets the recovery that he needs, gets the help that he needs, so he can. Um, beat this addiction because gamma addiction is serious and I hopefully he can sort that out and come back stronger but it's just a massive blow for us and it's a massive blow for him do you know what I mean banned for a year from football and it's his own fault at the end of the day like he's been the stupid lad betting on betting on football matches he's involved in I just I can never really understand football as betting the, the average Joe puts a £5 accumulator on because they want to win a few hundred quid so they can do something do you know what I mean? So they can go somewhere, so they can spend it on a holiday, I'll get the car fixed, I'll just have more money because they haven't got many. You know what I mean? They might be able to go shopping in Asda this week instead of Little. Do you know what I mean? That's why the average Joe's betting. And it'll be much fun as well and whatnot, and the, you know, the thrill of it, and I guess that's what it is, the fun, the thrill. But I, I, when you're a millionaire, what, what fun is there to be hard to be sticking a couple of hundred quid on and winning a, a couple of grand if you want it? You've got all the money. It's obviously just doing it for the for the thrill, for the hobby. But me, I just can't to a casino or something. Just spin the spin the roulette, whatever you want. Bet on a different. Oh, it's just, it's just mad to me. I just think you know the, the the price you pay for being a footballer, for having all that money and having all that fame, is you can't do what a lot of normal people will do. So you can't go sit in a restaurant without probably getting recognised. You can't walk down the street. You can't maybe go to your supermarket without getting harassed. What you can do is drive cars that people can dream of, have live in houses that people only dream of and see in movies. It's the sacrifice, it's the cost of being that successful. And the cost of being a footballer is that you can't spend your money on gambling. You can't bet, it's not allowed. Just wait until you retire, mate, if you really want to. And that's it, it might seem a long way off. The career will go quickly. Or just, there's got to be a way around it where you can, don't be so blatantly obvious where you're betting on your own team, man. Like, that is mental. And like I say, the, the, the price you pay is you can't do certain things. It's in your contract. You know fine well you can't gamble. Yes, you may have an addiction. But my God, I hope you get the support to get over it. Because it's just, it's kind of unacceptable really, isn't it? Having those bets and getting stuck up and all that. Like, it is, to be fair. But anyways, I, I've rambled on. I'm pissed off with the whole situation. I'm gutted we're going to be losing Tenali for so long. I'm gutted that we've been shafted. I think we're really being done over by AC Milan. They've got to have known that this case was pending and these allegations were in the background. And yeah, it's a, it's a shame on and off the pitch, you know what I mean? Like I say, we've got players to step in. Hopefully Anderson can step in. Hopefully Willock, Joe Linton and that can stay fit. But imagine if Bruno gets injured. What a bull that is now. And it's, You don't want to think of those things though. We'll just see what happens. We'll see how long he actually gets. It should be announced in the next 24, 48 hours, what Sandra Tonali's suspension 
actually is, how long it is. And then we'll see if Eddie Howe talks about it in the press conference on Friday. That'll be interesting to see what questions are fired at him because there's still been no statement from your cash on this. Sky Sports did reach out to them for a statement and they didn't hear anything. They're not commenting at that stage, but they are meant to be shocked and surprised at these revelations. So they didn't have a clue that this was going on. They didn't buy Tanani and think, ooh, this is happening. If he gets found guilty, there's a chance he might miss a couple of months. I don't, they wouldn't have done that anyways, but never mind a year. One year! 12 months ban incoming for Sandro Tanali. Oh, nightmare. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the whole situation. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible crack. Right, just watching people. See you in the next one.